Already this year, Sydney and much of New South Wales have been devastated by torrential rain and floods. The forecast is more of the same, with the latest State of the Environment report declaring that extreme weather events like this are becoming the new norm. In the last five years, we've documented the impact of extreme events such as storms, wildfires, um, very large bleaching events caused by heat waves, cyclones, um, droughts and floods. And they have impacted almost every square inch of Australia. The 2000 page scientific document paints a grim picture of Australia's ecosystems from marine environments to the desert. Land and ocean temperatures are on the rise and Australia has lost more mammal species than any other continent. We name our footy teams uh, and sporting teams after Australian animals. We really love our wildlife here in Australia. It's so unique to the world, but we are destroying their homes. And the thing we can do to protect them is to protect their home, protect their habitats. The scientific authors say pollution, mining, invasive species and climate change are to blame. Their solution is a drastic reduction in carbon emissions, as well as stronger national environment laws and a federal regulator to enforce them. The State of the Environment report is compiled every five years. The last four have painted a grim picture, but the past reports have predicted the future impacts of climate change. This latest scientific assessment is recording the extensive damage that's happening now. Responding to the report, Australia's newly elected government announced plans to protect 30% of the country's land and oceans by 2030. What the environment really needs is a changed system. That's the message from the Samuel Review. That's the message from the State of the Environment report. Without structural change, we'll be resigning ourselves to another decade of failure without the tools we need to arrest our decline. Another decade, scientists say, is too late. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Brisbane, Australia.